Hi, my name is Pete Hahn, and thank you for watching this tutorial video. Be sure to visit www.hahn-tech.com for the full library of video tutorials. I hope this video increases your knowledge and helps you become more efficient with this topic, whether for home or work. Please support this channel by sharing these videos with your friends and colleagues. Hi guys, and welcome to today's video. In this video, we will be demonstrating the Thinkorswim mobile application and showing you how to use the financial calendar. The financial calendar is found right here on the home screen. When you log in, this is the view that you get, and you can see right here in the middle of the screen is the calendar. It's currently set to week. You can set it to today, and when we expand it, we'll display it as a monthly calendar. Okay, so this should be a pretty short video, but this is packed with information. This calendar has got a lot of stuff in there, and I'm going to show you how to use it and how to get the most out of it. Before we do so, let's go ahead and cover the disclosure here, which is that I am not a financial planner. I'm not a professional trader. Nothing in this video should be interpreted as a recommendation to buy or sell any financial instrument. I'm here to show you how to get the most out of the platform, not how to make money using the platform. Okay, now that we've cleared that up, let's go ahead and press the double arrows and that will maximize the screen for the calendar and we immediately go into monthly view. And if you look at each of these days, you can see there's multiple color dots. And across the very top, you've got conference calls, dividends, earnings, economic events, splits, and futures liquidation. And each one of those is color coded and you can see as the calendar displays, you've got multiple color dots indicating that you've got events of those types in each of those particular days. For instance, if we clicked on the 17th and we scroll through, we can see that everything is color coded and you've got different types of notifications. Okay, so let's go back to monthly and now I'm going to show you some tricks on how to get the most out of this and get the information that you need right at your fingertips. Okay, the first little trick that I will demonstrate is that you can enter a stock ticker and that will filter the results by that symbol. And it's right here on the upper left. Just go ahead and press in there. And now you can filter by a current watch list. That's very handy. We'll show you that in a minute. But for now, I want to show you very simply how you can type in a symbol. Let's use uh, Pfizer just because I, it's one of those I've got memorized. You can see now the calendar is a lot cleaner, a lot easier to see what's going on. You can see for Tuesday the 3rd, for instance, you've got a green dot that indicates there's a dividend. So if you click on that, it gives you the details for the dividend. And then if you click on that, you can also buy and sell and you can get to a chart from here. You can uh, use it to jump to other parts of your application. You can see you've got the pertinent information, which is the amount of the dividend when it was announced and the ex-dividend date. So you know exactly when you need to own that stock in order to capture that dividend. Let's go back out to monthly view and you can see that we've got earnings on the 12th. There we go. And you can click on that again, it's actionable. And let's go back to monthly view. And then the last dot of color we've got on here is a conference call for the 13th. So we'll go ahead and view that. And look at this, you've got links here. Listen by a phone number and you've got a password it looks like and a link. Great, so look at that. You can get right to the conference call directly from the application. Fantastic. Okay, let's go back to monthly view and let's type in another ticker and we'll see, maybe we'll do Caterpillar. And this is somewhat unexpected. You could see that you've got a very large number of dots for multiple days, not like we saw with the previous ticker, PFE. So for some reason, when you type in cat as your filter, you're picking up a whole lot more stuff than just Caterpillar. And it's probably treating it as a search term instead of an actual symbol. Hmm seems like a defect to me. I'll leave that to tech support at TD Ameritrade to address. Let's type in IBM, go back to monthly view, and then you can see we've got a single green dot for Thursday the 5th, and that is their dividend payout. So we'll go back to monthly view. You get the idea. We'll press the X here. That will clear out the symbol filter. Press done, and now we're viewing an unfiltered result. Let's say you wanted to find everything that was earnings related. So let's go ahead and press the filter button. 
We press the filter button and we can check and uncheck. You see these green check marks here. We're going to uncheck conference call and dividends and economic events, splits and futures liquidation, leaving only earnings. So now we can press anywhere on the background of the chart. This is earnings season after all, and you can see you've got a lot of blue dots here indicating earnings. So you can press on these and you can get the details. It will tell you uh, when they're announcing and whether it's verified or unconfirmed. You can press on these and again take action on the individual items. Let's go back to a monthly view and let's go back to the filter and now let's say we wanted to see when the conference calls were going to be. So you go ahead and clear the check mark for earnings and press the check mark for conference calls. Press anywhere in the background and you can see you've got your dots here and you can go to let's say the 10th and you can see all of the stocks which have conference calls scheduled for, oh look at that, you got NSA is scheduled here. Oh, but it's not the NSA we're thinking of. Hmm, okay. And you can see you've got a quick scroll option over here that allows you to move quickly through the list based upon a time slot. Isn't that fantastic? Yes. Okay, so let's go back to the filter. Let's turn off conference calls. What's the next thing? Let's say we wanted to buy stocks that paid a dividend and we wanted to get in before the ex-div date and collect some dividends. Let's say that's part of your strategy. So let's go ahead and check the filter for dividends. Click anywhere on the background and change this to a monthly view. You can see you've got lots of dividends paying out and you can just simply go one by one through this list and it's all right here. And if you find one that uh, fits your criteria, you say, okay, wow, that's one. Let's look at that. You can buy it, sell it right here, right from the platform pop-up window right there. All right, so let's go back to a filter and then we want to uncheck the dividends. And the next thing that is probably something that every trader wants to keep track of, and you're probably using some website, you know, like Forex Factory or Economic Calendar or something like that. Well, if you click and filter by economic events, that's the purple dot, click any, press anywhere on the background, and then go to monthly view, and you can review and see that you've got a bunch of different economic reports on all the days where there is a purple dot. So for instance, let's say this is uh, next week is going to be this is November. So let's make sure we're, yeah, we're on November. Good. And let's say we wanted to see what's going on for Wednesday of next week. Well, you've got the PMI composite, you've got PPI, You've got ADP employment report, 30-year bond announcement. There's all of the news, the ISM non-manufacturing. And again, you've got these handy little time slots that allow you to quickly maneuver to a specific time of day that you want to view. Okay, so there you go. You don't even need that website anymore. It's all right here on the Thinkorswim mobile platform. Now, let's see, what else? We want to look really quickly here. Let's do futures liquidation for free futures uh, traders. This is probably going to be telling you when there's going to be a rollover event, a futures contract. Now, many futures contracts are quarterly, some are monthly, and it just depends on what quantity you're trading. We'll press anywhere on the background, go to month, view, and you can see that we have quite a few events. So let's press on the third and see what we've got there. That's the VIX. Okay, let's uh, press monthly. Let's look at the fifth. That's the dollar index. Great. Look, this is really helpful stuff because now you can just really quickly, and I'm just going to press real quick right through here and uh, take a look at some of these. Let's go to the 17th. Okay. Um, that looked like coffee was there. And some of these, uh, a lot of these I'm not familiar with, but there's OJ, there's uh, crude oil. Okay. So that's helpful for your futures traders. And let's go ahead and press the filter button. And we've got one more thing to look at here real quick before we move on. And we'll look at splits. So let's press that and then press anywhere in the background. You can see you've got a stock split coming up here on BOFI. And let's see on the 22nd, you've got CEQP. It's got another stock split. So if you've got a strategy that's based upon stock splits, then you can just scroll through your calendar here and start making notes on what you want to play next. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back to the filter. We'll turn all of these back on. And now I'm going to show you the last thing, which is how to use a watch list as your symbol filter. That's very helpful if, for instance, you want to look at earnings and dividends and other events that are impacting stocks that are in your portfolio or stocks that are in a particular watch list. 
And let's just jump right in here and I'll show you if you press on the symbol filter, you get this additional filter, which is filter by current watch list. So we'll press on that. And the current watch list, as you can see in the right hand side, is set to stuff.tos. And you can see all the stocks that are listed on that as I scroll through here. And you can see that the calendar now displays only events that are related to stocks that are contained on that watch list. Let's go ahead and change it to something else. Let's look at financials. And now you can see we've got one that doesn't belong there right at the top. Uh, but you've got you know your big commercial financial banks there. And if you click on the uh, Tuesday the 1st, and you can see that you've got news events and economic releases that are going to impact that stocks particular industry for instance you've got unemployment rate that's going to be and GDP those are going to be big things that will impact uh, one of the banks so because it's a bank it picks it up so I think that's really helpful for you guys we'll just go ahead and press the X here and clear the filter for the calendar press done and go back to monthly view and now we're seeing everything on the calendar. Okay, so I did say that we would maybe look at a few other things, maybe a preview of things to come. Let's go ahead and minimize this calendar so we can get back to the home view. I wanna show you something real quick. This is really cool. You see the deposits button down here in the bottom? If you press that, you can see that there's little uh, buttons here that you can press for capturing the front and back image of a check. So this will allow you to deposit checks. Now there may be a need to apply for that through TD Ameritrade. You might have to get approval. There might be some extra steps required. But wouldn't it be really handy just to grab your iPad and take your check and go ahead and just snap a couple of pictures, automatically make a deposit. Fantastic, huh? They've got a lot of features built into this app. This is really, really good. Okay, let's see. In the next few videos, we're going to be covering some things like placing orders. So we'll be reviewing the order screen. We'll uh, show you how to look at your working orders, your filled orders, canceled orders. You can look at all if you want. And then also we'll have some time, we'll spend some time on a video looking from the trade perspective. We'll be looking at portfolio view so that you can see different alerts and orders for your individual stocks as well as news. You can get breaking news for a particular stock as you can see here. We'll look at the, the depth. That's going to be something we'll have to look at during the market hours because this is going to show you current trading activity, the size of your bid and ask, and let's see, we've got finally the profile view. That'll probably be a separate video in and of itself. There's a lot to this that you can get to, but that helps you with your fundamental analysis to find out what is your favorite company doing and do you really want to buy their stock and very, very helpful stuff. So thanks for watching guys. I really appreciate it and hopefully this video is helping you find that there's a lot more utility to this Thinkorswim mobile app than you ever expected and I think it could be really useful for you and you, you can even use it on your iPhone if you've got an iPhone and I think it's available for Android but you can have this stuff all in your pocket too. So good stuff. Great. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Thank you for watching this tutorial video. Be sure to visit www.hondashtech.com for the full library of tutorials. I hope this video increases your knowledge and helps you become more efficient with this topic, whether for home or work. Please support this channel by sharing these videos with your friends and colleagues. Thanks and take care.